Okay, so the final, um, the final objective is to um, work on creating plans for using behavioral skills training. Uh, behavioral skills training, BST, is a really important tool in order to most effectively and efficiently teach others the skills that you would like to share with them. So, um, you know, up till now, um, the lessons that I've been part of this course have been really focused on the instructions and modeling with some practice and role play um, through the structured exercises. The final two lessons, so next week and the following week, um, will really be uh, will really be more focused on the role play and the coaching and feedback components of the model. So, um, so what I what I want everybody to do for this objective is to identify a skill that you've learned during, during the course and actually go through the process of creating a plan that you um, that you could implement in order to teach somebody else some of the skills that we've been learning. So um, you know I clear, clearly defining what the skill is, what the steps are, you know, it, whether that's some sort of task analysis or um, clear description of the skill. Um, and then planning for how you would provide how you would provide that instruction, what that instruction would look like, how you would model the model that skill, model that behavior, and show what that looks like. Um, and then what the steps would be for role playing and what, you know, what are the exercises, what are the steps, what are the activities that you could do with somebody else in your life to help them learn how to implement these skills. And then a plan for actually coaching and providing them feedback in the moment. Um, so kind of as you are, as you're thinking about this and as you're working to develop um, or to complete this exercise, be thinking about how this, um, like how this will generalize and how this will apply to your own personal strategic action plan. Um, because you, as, your, as yourself, your individual action plan, this is, these are going to be your instructions, right? This is gonna be like what, what, it is, what, you're, what you wanna do, who you wanna be, why you wanna be this way. You know, your action plan is your instruction manual. Um, modeling, you know, modeling and role playing for yourself within your, or as, a, or in relation to your strategic action plan, um, might look like actually talking to other people about it and role playing some things or practicing some things, um, you know, piloting, testing out different strategies practicing those skills. Um, and then uh, your, you know, part of your action plan will be how you're going to provide yourself feedback on your progress. Um, so um, this will also be something that you'll want to incorporate more, you know, a plan for utilizing BST with yourself um, for your own strategic action plan that you could then eventually um, apply to others. <laughs> Okay, so in pre preparation for the final two lessons, um, I wanted to kind of talk about what that's going to look like because it's going to look uh, pretty different from what our what the previous lessons have looked like, um, and um, I you know given the format and the live participation, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work out. Uh, but we're gonna go for it and do our very best. Um, so the components of the P of the PSAP we have already talked about that you need to kind of um, provide a description of you know what your challenges and barriers are, the things that have impacted your life, and how you know what the discrepancies are and what your priorities are. Um, you know, clarifying your vision, your value, mission and values in your life, what you want to, what you want your life to mean, what you want your life to be about. Um, 
and then you'll you know prioritize develop your goals prioritize your goals create action plans um, develop a plan for uh, committed action how you know what this is actually going to look like in um, as in action and then how you are going to develop um, or how you're going to monitor and you know track your progress over time and make cor um, make course corrections as needed. Um, so next week during lesson eight, I'll be presenting my personal action plan and asking for feedback. Um, if you're participating live, the feedback can be given aloud, um, and then. Um, for everyone else, or you know, as part of the um, submission for the course, the feedback will be submitted through the dashboard. And so, um, you know, there are formal way, you know, formal steps to providing feedback, and I'm going to be pulling some, uh, or pu putting up some articles related to, um, you know, different methods for providing feedback in a supervisory role that can be applied. Um, for, for our purposes, what we really are going to be focusing on in the feedback section is what you liked about the plan, areas you think that the plan could be improved or strengthened, and then ask, posing questions to um, help strengthen the plan. Um, then the homework for this week is for you to actually draft your strategic action plan. Um, and so when you're going into lesson eight, if you when you have your draft of your plan, and then you will um, be able to see the um, strategic action plan that I share, um, and then provide feedback to you know provide feedback to me on my plan of. Um, and how it was presented. And then in preparation for lesson nine, then you will, um, the homework will be to revise and refine your plan um, based on the model or based on the demonstration that was given. Um, so that, um, that will be kind of how we wrap up and conclude this, um, this course is to kind of take everything that we've learned, all the skills that we've practiced, all the strategies um, and that have been kind of a part of this course through the um, lessons and the readings and the exercises um, and develop a written plan to help guide your actions um, and development of your personal life and creating more peace in your life and the lives of your family and your community over the next 10 years.